a shocker of announcement to me. I'm super interested in it, though. The online gaming streaming platform Twitch has decided to ban their top streamer temporarily, Kai Sinat, apparently because he was streaming and he's shown some type of explicit content on Grand Theft Auto. So for those who are unfamiliar with Kai Sinat, he's this young, I think 21 year older, who does a lot of streams online and he's got some real momentum coming out of New York. He's at the point now where he has all type of celebrities on and I wouldn't call it an interview. He just brings celebrities on and he just kind of catches a vibe with them. He's had guys like Lil Baby on, Lil Yachty. I saw Rich Paul, LeBron James' agent on a week ago. I think what has happened is some of these celebrities and big brands have realized this is a place that I can go to and get a look from a place that has a lot of kids on it. Obviously, celebrities care about getting that kid demographic, especially musicians when, you know, hey, kids stream music too, and those numbers count all the same nowadays on YouTube, Apple Music, Spotify, all that great stuff. I think people are realizing this is a pretty safe way to not be asked any hard questions, but still reach that kid demographic. I saw G Herbo on there having a, a fun time with Case or not a couple weeks ago. He's a vibe. It's just really a vibe. Twitch has decided to ban him because of a violation. For those who don't know, uh, just a couple months ago, Kai recently passed by 300,000 subscribers on Twitch. It's the most ever. As a matter of fact, Drake, the biggest rapper in the world, is familiar with Kai, and he believes Twitch should be paying Kai $50 million for the amount of business that he's bringing over to Twitch Twitch ain't been popping in years. They don't have any culture on there if you take away Kai, period. Matter of fact, Kai was on a live stream in which he did confirm that he's been recently banned from Twitch. They dead banned me today, bro. Why though? I'm trying to figure that out. I'm trying to see. The day we blew hop on they banned me today. It's like it's like everything is like just get tweaked like crazy. For a minute too. For a minute? For a minute. For a minute. I'm not going to say myself. Yeah, again, the ban is temporary. I just think this is ridiculous, though. Look, again, if Kai did have some explicit content from Grand Theft Auto on his stream, you know, that's an L on his regard. He, he should know better. His brand is entirely too big to have the live streams that he does for the business attached to the, uh, the, the channel that he actually games on. That's just dumb on his behalf. But we ain't going to act like rules are different for the top one percent and kai is obviously the top guy over on twitch the rules should be different for him i cannot believe twitch a place that by the way from a streaming perspective y'all know your boy pharaoh has taught himself technology over the last five to eight years i cannot believe a platform like twitch that has been struggling to stay afloat with youtube facebook even instagram now is coming along with stream keys I can't believe they decided to ban their top streamer. And this, he's not the first guy to get banned from Twitch. I just don't believe everybody should have to abide by the same rules. I'm not saying Kai should be posted uh, cartoon characters having sex, gaming characters having sex, but I just find it hard to believe they're going to ban a guy that brings in that much revenue. I mean, that many celebrities. I just saw Nicki Minaj saying, hey, I want to go on Kai Sinat's Twitch stream. Do you understand the power that this young man's got? Do you understand the culture, the amount of celebrities? Those videos are going on to be viral 10 times over. You got to work something out with him. And I think it just speaks to Twitch just being not of the culture and not knowing what the heck is going on. This is embarrassing that your top streamer is getting banned. I'm sorry, the rules should be different when you're that elite at something. And Kai Sinat, if nothing else, he is elite at getting kids and young people to watch him on Twitch. Y'all gonna learn the hard way, man. The world is changing. I just saw the young bull, Kenny, that's doing a great job on YouTube. He was just on first take. He, he looked like Kai Sinat has 300,000 subscribers. Nicki Minaj wants to go on his Twitch live stream. That audio that I played from you, of Kai Sinat confirming that he's got his Twitch ban. He had Javante Davis and Ryan Garcia on his Instagram live because his Twitch was banned. 
ladies and gentlemen, the world is changing. Content creators, they got the pool. They tap in with their followers day to day. I believe a lot of the, the fans, especially the young ones, they believe that it feels more organic tapping in with a content creator like a Casa Not, like a Kenny Beckham, like a Pharaoh. They believe this feels more organic, real than just tapping in with a random celebrity talk show host nowadays. The world is changing, and if platforms like Twitch don't understand that, they're going to get left behind, which is what has happened to Twitch over the last couple years. I want to thank you guys so much for the time, love, and support. Kai not gets banned from Twitch. Their top streamer gets banned, apparently because he was on Grand Theft Auto and showing some, some type of sexual content that he wasn't supposed to show. I'm sorry, bro. When you're elite, the rules are different. That's just how the world goes. I'm out.